quick screencast of the FET simulations that I'm going to ask you to do. So when you open up the PDF, uh, you'll probably open it up in your Chromebook and it'll be in Cami, so it'll look a little different. You should be able to click on one of these links and get close to there. And it'll do something like this. And then you just click on this. And initially the background looks pretty blank. You want this checked, electric field. You do not want direction only. Um, and I do, sure, voltage, values, and grid. So the grid is actually pretty nice. So you've got sensors over here. You've got a tape measure you can drag out to measure things over here, although it's pretty easy. I think each one of these bigger blocks is like 50 centimeters. So I move one end of this over here, and then I drag the other end over here. Yeah, it looks like it's about 50 centimeters. Um, but again, you can measure it if you want. If you don't want, you can go ahead and put it back. Um, this is going to measure voltage or electric potential, which we're going to do in part H, one part 1H. One so first, if you want to drag a charge out, ooh, so those arrows represent electric field lines. There's the negative ones. You can move this around, which I think is really neat because it shows the vector um, nature of electric field lines. Um, you can put more than one charge there, so the summation of those charge, uh, the electric field at any point is based on all the charges. And then a sensor, since you've got the values clicked, will show you the magnitude and direction of the electric field at any one point, including give you some numbers. So we talked uh, in class about electric field being measured in newtons per coulomb. It can also be measured in volts per meter. Those actually mean the same thing. Don't worry about why they sound, why they sound so different right now. We'll talk about that. So um, it's asking you to do a couple things like that. You can have more than one sensor if you want also. If you got, want to get rid of a charge, you can just put it back in the box. You can put a sensor back in the box, things like that. So. The next part is going to ask you to, uh, in part H, use this sensor here and mark different places of electric potential. That's a kind of a chapter ahead of where we are in chapter 21, but basically you go to a spot, let's say I want you to mark a spot that's zero volts, you get as close as you can to zero, so that's pretty good right around there, and click the pencil. And that line is the zero volt mark. If you want to go to a place that's say plus 7 volts, close to that, you would do that. If you want to do a place that's like plus 4 volts, oops, something like that. If you want to go to a place that's say negative, tw negative 20, if you move any of these charges, all these lines will go away. You may want to screenshot these. It's, I'm asking you to draw them, but it may help you to screenshot them or take a picture with your phone. You can move this out of the way also. If you want to get rid of all the lines, you click Erase, or you just move any of these, it's going to get rid of the values. Because these values for voltage, which is also known as electric potential, will change at any point in space um, when it, the charges move. So what this says is that anywhere along this line is the same voltage. In a way, it's like being the same height or elevation on a mountain. The positive is like a mountain peak. The negative is like a valley or a, um, a crater or something like that. So notice if I'm moving it, those all disappear. So that's just a quick tutorial. Hopefully that ends up helping you.